Now we are in the way to Fatehpur Sikri. Located at a distance of 40 km from Agra, Fatehpur Sikri is a town in the Agra district and a famous tourist attraction. A city made of red sandstone, Fatehpur Sikri was founded in 1571 century by Mughal Empire Akbar. It is essentially a fortified city built by the king and had been the capital of his empire for 15 years. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is a home to Jodhavai's Palace, Jama Mosque, Buland Darwaja and a tomb of Salim Chisti along with many other famous monuments. A unique blend of architectural excellence as well as religious belief sums up Fatehpur Sikri. It was built by Akbar to honor Sheikh Chali Salim Chisti, who predicted the birth of Mughal Hayat came true while Akbar was visiting and then the city of Sikri. In honor of Sheikh Salim Chisti, Akbar built this city and Jama Masjid, a stunning mosque which is still in use today. He also undertook the construction of three palaces for each of his favorite wives, one Hindu, one Muslim and one Christian. And in the Islamic masterpiece, Fatehpur Sikri looks stunning during the sunset. Sufi Sant Selim Chistu's tomb is the most beautiful example of Mughal architecture. It finds its place in the courtyard of the mosque. In the courtyard outside of Sikh Selim Chistu's tomb, few more tombs are seen. This is said that these are the tombs of his family members. Till date, the tombs of the family members of Sheikh Salim Chisti is made in the courtyard of the Fatehpur Sikri. Outside, there are the tombs of the male members of the family and inside, these are the tombs of the female family members. While I was walking through the long walkway to visit the Dargah, I saw the Anarkali Darwaza. From the secret place, beautiful Anarkali was forced to leave the city without knowing anyone from the Mughal dynasty. She was the love of Akbar's son Salim during that time, but it brought a tragic ending. This is one of the secret as it doesn't have any historical proof. Sufi Sant Salim Chusti's tomb was originally built with red sandstone, but later it was converted into a beautiful marble mausoleum. Salim Chusti's mazar is in the middle of Empire's courtyard at Fatehpur Sikri. The mausoleum was constructed by Akbar as a mark of his respect for the Sufi Sant. Every year, many devotees visit the tomb of the Sufi Sant Salim Chusti to fulfill their wish. The beauty of the marble jallies in the windows is fascinating. It is followed or trusted that if one tie a wish thread in the window of this mazar, his or her wish will be fulfilled and this is called Mannat Kadhaga. Inside the Fatehpur Sikri, I found that local people are selling beautiful marble artwork and different souvenirs and made by things by the local people. Akbar commissioned the Jama Masjid as a part of his new capital city of Fatehpur Sikri. The structure was one of the first sites constructed in the city and was completed sometime between 1571 and 1574. The mosque was made in the honor of Sufi Sheikh Salim Chisti, Akbar's spiritual advisor. It was a beautiful architecture. In its time, it was loved by various authors and travelers for its beauty. Dini Ilahi was an elite religious movement formulated by Mughal Empire Akbar in the late 16th century. The idea was to combine Islam along with Hinduism into one faith and also to add the aspect of Christianity and Jainism. Different features from different religions are reflected in the architecture of Jama Masjid.
After visiting the Jama Mosque, we are heading towards the famous Buland Darwaza. Buland Darwaza, or the loft gateway at Fatehpur Sikri, was built by the great Mughal Empire Akbar in 1601. Akbar built this Buland Darwaza after his victory over Gujarat. The Buland Darwaza approached by 42 steps and 53.63 meter high and 35 meter wide. It is the highest gateway in the world and an outstanding example of Mughal architecture. It is made of red sandstone and decorated by white and black marble. The central face of Buland Darwaza throws light on the Akbar's religious tolerance and broad-mindedness. From 1571 to 1585, Fatehpur Sikri served as the capital of Mughal Empire. In 1573, when Akbar returned victorious from Gujarat campaign, the city was named Fatehpur Sikri or the City of Victory. Jodhavai's Mahal is an excellent example of the fusion of Hindu and Muslim architectures. The palace has distinct Gujarati and Rajasthani architectural patterns. The palace is a rectangular block with single magnificent gateway on the eastern side which was protected by the guard rooms. Akbar's favorite wife Jodhabai was a Rajput princess. So till now in the courtyard of the Jodhabai's palace we find a Tulsi Manch. Ibadat Khana or the House of Worship was a meeting house where Akbar had laid the foundation of Din He Ilahi. Here, spiritual leaders of different religions gathered and conduct discussion of the teaching of their respective faiths. An extraordinary structure at Fatehpur Sikri, the Panch Mahal has a design elements of Buddhist temple. It has four stories in decreasing size, built asymmetrically over the ground floor. At Anup Talao, the legendary Tansen used to perform for the Empire Akbar. Anup Talao was built by Raja Anup Singh Sikhawar, an ornamental pool with a central platform and four bridges leading up to it. Some of the important buildings of the royal enclave were surrounded by it. Diwani Am or the Hall of Public Audience is a building typology found in many cities where the ruler meets the general public. Here in Fatehpur Sikri, Diwani Am was constructed where Akbar used to meet the general public to hear their grievances. In this case, it is a pavilion-like multi-bed rectangular structure fronting a large open space. Diwani Khas or the Hall of Private Audience is a plain square building with four chhatris on the roof. However, it is famous for its central pillar which has a square base and octagonal shaft. Built in with Persian architectural style, this building was the Hall of Private Audience. Only the royal member assembled here to discuss private affairs. It has a roof with four chhatris. The central pillar with a square base and an octagonal shaft has brought the fame of the architectural masterpiece. Floral and geometrical design has increased the beauty of the base. In the year of 1585, when Akbar proceeded towards Punjab for his next military campaign, he abandoned Fatehpur Sikri. It is believed that the city was abandoned due to two primary reasons, the lack of water and the unrest in the northwestern part of the country. Akbar later shifted the capital of his empire to Lahore and then to Agra, and by 1610, Fatehpur Sikri became a fully abandoned city. If you are watching this video till now, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Lifestyle by Shudeshnas and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded.